Today I'm going to show you how to replace the hard drive on a Dell Inspiron 17 7000. First, take the screws from the bottom, removing, starting with the corners first, each screw one at a time. Then, pop out the CD drive and remove the hidden screws below the CD drive's bezel. I lay the screws out in order of which they were removed so it's easy to put them back in. Gently remove the plastic bezel with a guitar pick or your fingernail, starting with the corners first and work your way around. Once you've revealed the inside, inspect for any dust damage such as liquid or drop damage before you proceed. Remove the four screws holding the hard drive in place. Gently remove the drive from the outside of the laptop and fold it over on the battery. Then carefully remove the SATA connector. Take a Phillips screwdriver and carefully remove all four screws from the hard drive and its bezel. Try your best not to touch the PCB on the bottom of the hard drive or any other gold contacts on either drive. Make sure you align the face of the SATA connectors to match the other drive coming out of the bezel. Put back all four screws into the hard drive's bezel with the new solid state drive. Orient the drive in the same fashion you removed the existing hard drive so that the SATA connector lines up. Then fold the drive carefully back over into its place. Before you mount it permanently, make sure that the mounting posts match up the hard drive bezel's circular holes. Once the solid state drive is seated properly, reinstall the four screws that you removed earlier. Take your hard drive that you removed earlier if you wish to clone it to the new solid state drive. Connect it to an external USB adapter. In this case, it can be a USB Type-C, 3.1, 3.0, or 2.0 external interface. Remember, if you're cloning to multiple machines, make sure that the chipset is similar or matches so that way the actual clone will be successful. You don't want to have a non-bootable drive if you expected the clone to work. Now you can connect your AC adapter. With the old hard drive connected, now we can power on the laptop. In this case, I'm using an external CD drive to quickly boot from my boot medium. Press the escape key to get into the UEFI BIOS start screen. Then press F12 to get into the UEFI boot menu. Boot from the UEFI source that contains your boot CD with Acronis 2015. Choose option 1. This screen may take a while to load. However, be patient until you get to the screen that shows the Acronis interface with its GUI. With the external hard drive powered on and connected, choose Clone Disk from the Tools and Utilities menu. In this case, we are using an incompatible controller. Replace the controller with a compatible controller, in this case a different brand, then the drive shows right up. Now choose Clone Disk, and you should see that it shows automatic as the first choice. Choose this, and on the next screen choose the source hard drive. Finally, on the destination, choose the new solid state drive. This process works with pretty much any solid state brand. With the summary screen correct, go ahead and hit proceed. Let the clone process continue and you can verify the activity on your external controller. 
If the process fails, it's usually because the hard disk is not defragmented or the controller on the computer that you're using for the clone process is not compatible. Corrupt partition information can also fail a clone. If the clone succeeded, you will see this screen, then just simply click the X in the corner to reboot the computer. If the clone was successful, you will see Windows begin to load. Be patient as Windows will detect new hardware right here. Congratulations, you've cloned your hard drive to a solid state drive.